Courage to Be program begins with the idea that everyday people, good people, articulating and acting upon moral and political courage is important in our world. We knew that the whole issue of this sequence of courses was to be courage. And to my mind, Tillich's text was the best one on the subject, the response to the Holocaust, to the Second World War. This text, with all of its analytic richness, might be used to speak about courage in the setting of social action, which is really the concern of the Hannah Arendt Center. One of the great things about the Courage to Be program is the incredible team of student fellows that come together every year to run the program. The student fellows invite speakers um, each semester democratically to come and give formal and informal dinner talks. For my invitation for this program, I invited Deo Maizonkiza, and he runs a really impressive hospital and public health program in his native country of Burundi. The reason why I invited him is because I've never really heard um, a public health perspective or a public health activist, um, and I wanted to bring in that different voice into the conversation of courage. The reason why I chose Rana Abdel Hamid was because um, she really allowed me to understand the complexities of courage as well as far as grassroots organizing goes. And she talked about starting with what you know, starting with who you know, and starting with joy, as opposed to centering trauma in your organizing with you know, marginalized people especially. I think the speakers added to our discussion of courage in our classroom because in a course that had to do with superheroes, getting to uh, hear lectures and ask questions from like real people who do heroic things in our own world definitely gave more depth to what we were thinking about and discussing in class. To not talk about it and to do it is what these people have done. And now they're talking about it because they've done it. So it's like, I, I should listen to you because you're, you're the real deal. Not just because I have to, but because you're a great example and you're setting a great example for us. I think the Courage to Be program represents one of the real virtues of a liberal education and teaching at a liberal arts college. And when students take the Courage classes, they're doing the serious work of learning, of you know, giving in to that kind of Socratic, I don't know, to engage in difficult conversations that have the ability to expand the imagination and make them more democratic citizens. 